Shane, Toad what are you doing? <laughs> it's missing the Michael Myers. Dun 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 dun. No. <laughs> Shane! Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're here, <laughs> my name is Fearfully Creative. Like, Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Okay, this is trippy. Fix the lies. It's me, Johnny Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> you just missed him tripping over all the presents. <laughs> Turn on the light. <laughs> the light. Hey guys, my name is Marina. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marina. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it is super late right like, now. Like so late. It's past midnight because I couldn't do this while my kids were awake, and I had to make sure they were really, really asleep before I started doing this because I'm a loud mouth, and my voice carries across this whole daggone trailer. It carries across the mountains. And this Rocky Mountain. <laughs> There's a legend that you can There's hear. You can still hear it on the other side. All right. You know what? If you're gonna talk, you might as well just get in here. So get in I'm here. in here. I'm, I'm the narrator. Marina then looked at her husband in awe as she was thinking to herself, Man, I am in love with this man. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Alright, so. Let's cut that out. <laughs> okay. This is going to be a nightmare. I should have waited until you went to sleep, too. So, I always start out my What I Got My Kids for Christmas videos the same way. This video is for A, entertainment purposes. For our gift ideas for your children, especially if they're close to the age of my children. It lets you know kind of what kids my kids age like, even though my kids like may be very different than your kids like. It gives us an opportunity to hang out with each other. And it's for people who just don't have kids and they're just either nosy or they just really love me. So they're going to sit here and listen to this whole daggone video, even though they don't have kids or grandkids or anything like that. And I love those people so much. What this video is not. Come here. I'm sorry, you did it. <laughs> We're <laughs> <scared today. laughs> What this video is not, is it's not a way to brag about what I get my kids for Christmas. I would never do that. You guys know my history with that. I have not always been able to give my kids Christmas. Sometimes barely a Christmas at all. So I know what that feels like. And for that fact alone, this video, I want to reiterate this video is not for bragging purposes. I know a lot of you guys are going to say I don't owe anybody an explanation, but I do in this sense because I never want somebody to feel less than as a parent or as a person in general just because they can't afford gifts. Don't do that. I know that's easy to do in today's society, but please don't do that while you're watching this video. On the opposite side of that, if you feel like I didn't get my kids enough for Christmas, know that Jesus paid it all on the cross. He gave everything. He gave them eternal life and I can't outdo that and I'm not going to try. I have a... How, what age are my kids? Wow. Twelve. He's eleven. No, he's twelve. Twelve and ten and eight. Yeah. Wow. Okay, mom brain and it's past midnight. So I have a twelve-year-old homeschooled boy. <laughs> so that will be a lot different than your twelve-year-old public school boy. <laughs> I have a 10 year old who has autism and I have two 8 year olds and I say all of that because that will kind of give you an idea as to why my kids like certain things. My oldest boy hasn't been introduced to a lot of the electronic stuff as such as cell phones and stuff like that. He has been introduced to video games. That is where his heart is right now that his little 12 year old heart is in video games right now. But as far as like phones, means of social media, anything like that it's a no-go it's a no-go so he's still very much a child and I want him to stay a child for as long as he wants to I don't want him to feel the need to grow up I don't want him to experience the peer pressure that he needs to act a certain way at, at the age of 12 I just want him to be him and him being him right now is him locking the things that you're about to see it ain't making forts or yelling out pika pika he ain't got nothing to do with it. Yeah. 
he, he is very much still a child and I absolutely love that about him. I'm sure public school kids, I'm not saying anything about public school kids. I'm sure that they have different likes as well than each other. I'm not grouping them into one group. I'm just saying it will, it, it's very obvious that my children are homeschooled and I really like that. I like that about them. They don't feel the pressure to be anything that they're not and I, I enjoy watching them blossom into the kids that they actually want to be. My kids will not apologize for who they are ever and I'm not going to apologize for who they are either. This will just kind of give you a look into what some 12 year old boys, some 10 year old boys, and some 8 year old girls are interested in. My youngest boy does have autism so his presents are going to look a lot different than his brother and his sisters. So he's not interested in what a neurotypical child would be interested in. He's interested in his own thing too. So his presents are going to look a little different. And then my girls, their eight-year-old twins, they are very much... They're girls. Girls, girls, girls. Like girls to the core. A lot of their friends who go to public school here in the trailer park, they're starting to ma uh, mature a little quickly and be interested in boys at the age of eight I don't get it and they're interested in phones social media stuff like that music my girls are interested in Barbies <laughs> they bring the kid out of their friends they're <laughs> in the trailer park because everybody acts cool and and collected and everything like that until my girls bring out the Barbies <laughs> when my girls bring out the Barbies everybody turns into a kid <laughs> so we'll start with the oldest my 12 year old boy and we'll make our way down to the youngest and then I'll show you what I got the puppies too because I can't leave them out the first thing we got Colton is this duo mode Fortnite legendary series I have no idea what this is but Shane has every idea as to what this is and I know my boy likes Fortnite so we got him this we found this where I think we got that at Ross. We found this at Ross. We found quite a few of things that they asked for at Ross, which y'all know I'm a huge Ross stan anyway. This is part of the reason why. It works for us that everything that they like is at Ross, and Ross is one of the more inexpensive stores to shop for at Christmas. So Fortnite related, he got this, which is this duo pack. He got this, which is Master Grade, and I don't know what that means, but it has a little cool door with Velcro like this. That's his favorite character. This is his favorite character? Mm -hmm. This is his favorite character. Nice. And then he got one of these little llama pinatas. He got one of these for his birthday, what, two birthdays ago? <laughs> and had a fit over it. So we saw this at the Ross. It usually comes with one figure and then a bunch of accessories. It comes with a four inch figure and then a bunch of accessories. <laughs> like I said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you reiterated that. <laughs> My boy is also a huge card fanatic. Whether it be Pokemon cards, Digimon cards, whatever it is, if he can collect it, he absolutely loves it. And he absolutely loves his Pokemon card. And this is a pack that he didn't have. And while we do get him Pokemon cards when we go out and about, if we go to the store and he sees like a little pack of Pokemon cards, we'll be like, yeah, go ahead and get it. It's very rare that he gets the big packs like this because they are more expensive. Usually they're around like $15, $20, $25 for the big packs like this. So it's a very rare occasion that he gets one of these. So when he gets one, he gets super excited. And because he has so many already, we got him two binders, Pokemon themed. We got him one of these last Christmas. It was a Bulbasaur one and so this year we got him a Squirtle and a Charmander. We got him two because he has a lot of cards and even these and his Bulbasaur card holder it's not going to hold all the cards that he has. So I figured slowly we could start getting him these for like special occasions. Christmas, birthdays, just because I love you. We'll just start <laughs> picking him up stuff like this. They have a bunch of different designs on Amazon. They have like the Pokeball, they have uh, Pikachu, different Pokemon. So when he gets enough of these the edges look like like this so he'll have his own little collection of binders that hold his cards it also keeps them safe too we go to this store in the mall it's called cm games and they sell like rare pokemon cards and the fancy ones that shine what are those things called gx the gx, GX colton flips out That's over gx one cards right this one has a gx card in it right yeah it's a full face card meaning the whole card look. takes up the picture like do you see like he likes to put his special cards, like his GX cards, his collectible cards, his rare cards, stuff like that, in these. Recently, he's gotten into Digimon cards. He only recently found out that they made Digimon cards. We walked into Walmart one day, and he saw them, and he flipped out. So, we're starting out his Digimon card collection this Christmas. My baby is like his daddy, and he absolutely loves manga. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he absolutely loves manga. We got him uh, one of these, I think. Two of these. 
We got him two of these yeah. last year, <clears throat> and he has talked about them all year long. So I ordered these two. It's three and four. And then Nana asked what he wanted for Christmas, and I had her order him the fifth one. And the fifth one's the last one, so he has the whole set now. They're the Kirby Manga Manga Mania. They're so stinking cute, and I like that they promote reading. They do have pictures. But there's also a lot of reading, and Colton loves to read anyway. And he reads it in the voices. He does. He, he's very animated. I wonder where he gets that from. He'll say, Cameron, do you want me to read this to you? He'll read them to Cammy, and he'll use the voices. He'll read them to himself and use the voices. He really loves to read. He, like, immerses himself in whatever world that he's reading about. He likes reading. He likes comics. And this is the perfect medium to do both those things. He also likes to draw... So I picked this up at Ollie's. This was one of those just, ooh, I see that and I think you might like it, Buys. I didn't do a lot of that this year. I tried to shop with a purpose. I didn't want to go all out like last year. Last year they had so many presents and it took over an hour to open those presents. And I, they, they loved it and they enjoyed it and it was one of the best Christmases, they'll tell you. But it was almost overwhelming. And we, we went overboard for several reasons. But whenever you can't give your children a big Christmas for so many years and then you can give them a big Christmas. It was just one of those things where we didn't really realize how much we had accumulated until we started wrapping it. <laughs> this year I tried to shop with a purpose. That being said, if I came across stuff that I thought that they would like, like this, I picked it up for them. There's Oprah. What? Yeah. <laughs> it's real people. Oh it passed by Bruce oh Lee, Oprah Winfrey. Real life people. So he can learn how to draw Oprah. <laughs> Thomas Edison. Edison. <laughs> oh my God. Isaac Newton. <laughs> I didn't. I wish I had got me one. And it tells about it. Amelia Earhart. That's Earhart. Cool. It says like it says Amelia Earhart. In 1932, Amelia Earhart became the first female pilot to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. So it doesn't only teach him to draw, but it teaches him little facts about the people he's drawing. That is so stinking neat! Van Gogh, Picasso, Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley is just thrown in between Picasso and Van Gogh. <laughs> I guess it's just different figures from history. There's Elvis Presley. Huh? Bruce Lee. Beyonce. Hey. <laughs> Beyonce, Audrey Hepburn, David Bowie. <laughs> I love this shame. We gotta go back and get me one. Sacagawea. I have to go get me one. Yeah, I have to. Have to. I'm really? going to think of that oh, for forever. This is only $3. That's the best $3 I ever spent. It'll Show them. Yeah. Shane, always does, Shane usually does Bruce Lee on a tree. Cause it, yeah, I'm going to put it in my tree, actually. We don't do Elf on the Shelf. We do Bruce Lee on we a tree. We do Lee in a tree. Lee in a tree. I've had this since <laughs> I was like three, I think. You want to know a story about this? Story time real quick. Whenever I was a kid, the movie Indian and Cupboard came out. Mm -hmm. And they had a special thing at the end of the movie that you could order. It was like a little cupboard, and it had the key and mm -hmm. everything with it. So mom ordered it. It came in the mail. It ended up not being like as elaborate as it looks in the movie, right? It was uh -huh. pretty cheap looking. And I put Lee in there hoping that he would come to life. <laughs> and he never did. But I've always theorized <laughs> that he comes to life at Christmas. <clears throat> He's kind of like Annabelle's Laying a wish. Tree. He's Annabelle's wish. Annabelle's last wish. Colton's two favorite things, manga and Nightmare Before Christmas. He loves Nightmare Before Christmas. He gets that from his daddy. This is a manga of Nightmare Before Christmas, and I didn't even know this existed. Like I said, I'll do about anything to promote reading with him, even though I don't really have to because he just loves reading in general. But the stuff like this is why he loves reading, because while he does read stuff for school, he reads certain material for school, articles, essays, novels, literary arts. <laughs> Except for his literature, he has to read particular books for his literature and do like essays and stuff on them and answer questions. He does read all that for school, but in his spare time, he reads just for fun. Whenever he reads for fun, I let him read whatever he wants to. Manga has words in it, so it's considered reading. And I think that that's part of the reason why he likes reading so much is because I didn't push books on him in his free time and his time that he didn't want to read. I just let him start picking up whatever he wanted to. And he kind of broadened his perspective 
on a bunch of different things by doing that. So while he loves manga, he loves superheroes, he loves anime, he loves Nightmare Before Christmas, he will also read through the whole entire Little House on the Prairie books and have a blast. The pig bladder. He always talks about the pig yeah, bladder. The only thing that he doesn't like is Charlotte's Web. Yeah, he hates Charlotte. He Twitter. doesn't like sad stories. Yeah, he, anything to do with animals, like Colton is very, very tender-hearted about. So he can't handle Charlotte. Talking about packs. Yeah, <laughs> we read packs as a family, and it, it broke him. <laughs> he was, he was so sad. We still got to get to the sequel at some point. <laughs> but like I said, he doesn't just stop at manga. He also reads novels, and we saw this. It's Long Live the Pumpkin Queen. It's about Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas, and it is an actual chapter book novel. So I'm anxious to hear all about this, because he will tell me all about everything that he reads. Yep. And then he'll draw pictures and comics after reading it. Yep. Last thing that I have in person is this Splatoon game. He has been asking for this for forever. We didn't get a whole lot of video games in this haul because his last big present, which is a present that hasn't arrived yet, all my kids get smaller, not little, because they're not cheap, but smaller presents like that, and then they get one big present at the end. His big present is on its way. It's a Oculus Quest, right? It's an Oculus. Um, he has been a freaking out about what is a VR 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 stuff and I don't know why but that ever since I bought my brother one for his birthday last year Colton has had it on his mind yeah. I'll put it up here on the screen and this oh. is what's on the way and the reason he didn't get a lot of in-person video games is because we'll have to get games for the VR set so like they'll already be on there the only other thing that he's getting is going to be something that's not going to be wrapped it's just going to be sitting on his stuff and it is this Squishmallow. We are Squishmallow crazy in this house. I didn't even ask him if he wanted one because I didn't think he would be interested in them. And me and the girls were looking at different ones and trying to figure out which ones we liked. And he said, Mom, I want a burger one. And I was like, you want a Squishmallow? And he's like, not just any Squishmallow, a burger one. <laughs> So I got my baby a burger one. <laughs> That'll be sitting up on his presents whenever they run into the living room on Christmas to open them. Nobody asked me if I want a squishmallow. Do you want a squishmallow? What kind of they got? They got all kinds of squishmallows. I, I love my squishmallows. I had, I had some like anxiousness leaving me when I was hugging the reindeer. <laughs> all right. Moving on to Cammy. He's a little bit harder to choose for because he likes certain things and he doesn't veer off far from those things that he really likes. When he likes something, he likes it a lot and he likes it for a really, really long time. Ryan has been in our house since, I don't know, what, years and years and years and years. Uh, I mean, a long, long time. And it's because he, when he likes things, he really likes things. He doesn't go back and forth on things. He sticks with what he likes and he has adored Ryan for I don't know how long. So his first thing is this little pizza party pinata surprise. It, I don't know what the thing is with the stores put or the manufacturers putting them in pinatas. Colton's pinata, Cameron's pinata. This one's a pizza. <laughs> Cammy loves his pizza though. It has nine mystery prizes inside and this is only one of his Ryan things. The other Ryan thing is something that we found at Ollie's and it's this big old giant egg. He has been wanting one of these for forever. Every time we pass the toy department in the store and he sees a giant Ryan egg, he flips out. So we got this at Ollie's for $20 and it has a bunch of different things in it like kinetic sand and, and squishy figures and stuff. But it also has a mystery figure and that's figures that he collects. So it has a mystery figure, a mystery squishy, mystery sand, mystery vehicle, a tag with Ryan. Oh, it's an exclusive game code. It has all the things. They had two different eggs, Shane. Stop. <laughs> they had two different eggs. They had this one and an artistic egg, and it had a bunch of art supplies in it. And we didn't want to go down that road. <laughs> so, so we got this one. Like I said, Cammy doesn't veer off from things that he likes very often, but he does quite often find new things that he likes. And when he does, <laughs> he does. <laughs> this year, his new like is a keto. A keto. A keto stuff. I don't know where he heard about it. All I know is we were in Ollie's one day and he said Ninja Toy and we were like, huh? And he pointed right to one of the Akito figures. And ever since then, every time we pass Ollie's, that kid has to stop at Ollie's and get him an Akito. Ollie's is about the only place we can find them now. For some reason, they didn't do very good or something because nowhere's selling them hardly anymore. So I had to rely on Ollie's and Amazon. Also too, Amazon had a lot of these on sale. Amazon did have a lot. And Walmart.com had a lot on rollback. So, like I said, I don't think that they did too hot. They, Cammy should have kept them in business, though, with the way that, <laughs> <laughs> with 
with the way that he got them. I don't know how many we've bought. But this holds 18 of the figures. This isn't an actual figure itself. It ain't actually a video game or nothing. It's a collector's case for 18 of his little figures. He has way more than that, but... I bet he'll probably store his favorite in here. He already has a crap ton, but we... <laughs> we got, got him more. a crapper ton. <laughs> we got him a crapper ton. So this one is the All-Star Collector Pack. And I should have known I couldn't do this with you in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man, that was funny. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I'm not explaining what I'm supposed to say. Explain that and I'm not going to cry. <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> the way you say it. For some reason. I have laughing spurts where I can't stop and I hysterically cry. <laughs> and then it gets me crying. <laughs> Okay, back to what I was saying. He has these figures, Loco Grande, Still Fang, Kiyoshi, all of those the one, names. The one in the they look really funny. I love playing with them. Whenever we go to the mall and we're waiting on Shane to bring the car around or something, me and him will play with these. These little things right here, you put the ninja on this thing right here, and then it's kind of like a thumb wars, but with ninjas. And whoever knocks the ninja's head off first wins. It's kind of like a Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Yeah, Cammy usually wins. He's really good at it. Can y'all guess what the next thing's going to be? We found a giant one. I haven't seen any of these in stores. We saw this on Amazon, and I knew he would love it. Shane was like, we got to get it. So these are the Battle Giants bundle, and it comes with two of them. And apparently, there's two more that we haven't seen. We got him a collector set. <laughs> this one has how many? So this one has two little thumb things. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten little Akito figures. It's interesting though. I like how they I like how they have it. It's kinda gonna be like a little blind surprise. Whenever he there's a show that we found about it and I shared about it over on Instagram. If you're over on my Instagram, you probably saw where I shared that Cammy draws pictures to communicate, so he'll do art and he will do the by from memory, he'll do the whole entire like a keto thing and everything and then he'll put at the bottom he'll put youtube's icon and that lets me know he wants me to find one on youtube <laughs> that's how he tells me that he wants to watch this which he does that about every day he does that and he draws maps to walmart to get a keto figure <laughs> we got more ketos <laughs> so we got one two three four five six seven eight we got eight of these these are blind packs kind of right yes. so he doesn't know what kind he's going to get so i'd say Given all the ones that he already has, there'll be some duplicates. He still loves them. But he still loves them. And we got these at different places. So, this is a Five Below sticker. We got them at Five Below for $5. And then, Ollie's had them for $3.99. And then, Ross had them. I don't know where the thing is. But, Ross had them for, I believe, $3.99 too. Yeah. So, we got them at different places. So, maybe he'll have a variety of different figures. The more he has, the more he has for us all to play with him. He enjoys picking out our characters for us. <laughs> yeah, he never lets me be the knight. No, he won't let you be any of the cool characters. <laughs> Another thing that he really likes is Captain Underpants, and he loves sitting and looking at comic books. That's one of his favorite pastimes. He loves that. He loves his tablet, but he really, really loves to sit and look at comic books. So we got this Captain Underpants, the extreme exploits of the explosive Xmas. So it's a Christmas themed one. And then we got him the Wedgie Power Guidebook. <laughs> and it's comics as well. He loves Captain Underpants and he loves comics. So I thought these were perfect. Especially this Christmas one. And he is going to have a fit when he finds out that we found this. He doesn't know that this even exists. It's a Rockhead comic. You better say the full thing how he says it. The Incredible Rockhead. <laughs> written by Scott Nichols. <laughs> That's what he says. He'll say Incredible Rockhead. Written by Scott Nichols. Illustrated by who? Alex something. Yeah, he'll say written by Scott Nichols. Illustrated by Alex. He has an audiobook of 
of this mm -hmm. on his tablet and that's where he found out about it so he doesn't know that we have a physical copy here he doesn't even know that they make them he's gonna have a fit over this he also has this portable dvd player on the way and then because everybody else is getting a squishmallow he's getting this cute little deer squishmallow i found this at best buy if you think he's had more presents than Colton or the two to come, it's because he does. And the reason for that is Colton's big present is an Oculus. The girls has a very big present too. But Cammie's a little bit harder to get big presents for because... He, like I said, his likes are very, like, contained. contained. There, it, not a lot of adventure in that area. So the only thing that he's really been asking for that's kind of big is this Create thing. And it goes along with his uh, tablet. It's the Super Studio Mickey Mouse and Friends Starter Kit. You put the tablet on the thing and you download the app. on the, It actually doesn't hook up to anything. But you put your tablet on it, you download the app onto the tablet and the app interacts with the pictures because the camera on the tablet will read the pictures and it interacts with it. He saw that he could draw while playing games and he has been asking, gosh. Well, he first saw it in the ads on his tablet when he would play <clears> games <throat> or watch movies and they'd <clears throat> have ads and they, because he would always say, create, create. <laughs> create. <laughs> So he calls this create. So anytime we ask him what he would want for Christmas, he would say create. So this is his bigger present. That's why he has a few more than the other kiddos. Is because we kind of had it. We wanted it to be around the same amount of money, but it really couldn't be this year. So we wanted to make up for the amount of money that we didn't spend on him in more presents, if that makes sense. We try to make it as even as possible, but as they get older, it's getting really hard to do that because they all like a variety of things. This is Cammy's big present, but he does have these three little lost kitty milk cartons. <laughs> he loves these things. They make a mess, but he absolutely loves them. They're just these little lost kitty uh, milk cartons, and in them they have like a little figure and some kitty litter. <laughs> Moving on to my older eight-year-old daughter. She's older by three minutes. They are still lol crazy. You guys have seen from the prior years, lol has been a running theme in our house, so we found this at Ollie's. The good thing about lol being so big is they release a lot of new things and all the older things get sent to places like Ollie's and Ross and you can find some really neat little ones that they don't have in places like that for cheaper. This was five dollars. Got the Year of the Tiger LOL ornament ball. It's just a little golden ornament ball with a little LOL in there. So I don't know if y'all have ever heard of Anya and Elsia on YouTube, but my girls watch them religiously, don't they? Like yes. they, they have lived them for years. They've grown up with those girls. They absolutely love Anya and Elsia. And Anya and Elsia uses a lot of stuff like this. And when they see Anya and Elsia has it, they have to have one similar, if not identical to it. And we saw these in TJ Maxx, and they had a di bunch of different ones. They ended up going with Disney-themed ones that day. But I saw them eyeing these, and I was like, okay, I'm going to sneak that. I didn't sneak it very well. I think she pretty much knows she has it. <laughs> it's just a little gummy bear one, and I thought that was too cute. They, they use these backpacks for their Anya and Elsia's. Then she has these Barbie accessories. I found these for $2.99 at Ollie's. Ollie's is a great place to find accessories. My girls have a ton of Barbie accessories, but they love getting new ones. Because they have a lot of accessories, this ain't going to put a dent in it. This ain't going to store even a quarter of it. But I found this closet online, and it's just like a little closet that they can hang their clothes in. Let me take it out of this bag and show you. So it's this closet. It comes with a Barbie, but it's just a place that they can store their accessories, like their clothes and stuff but also their handbags because they have a lot of handbags. I bought this on Amazon for the full price. A few days later, I went to Walmart and they had it on rollback on Clarence for so cheap. <laughs> Something new that they've been really interested in are these cutie reveals from Barbie. They have different, this shows you the character that they're gonna get. It comes with the doll, it comes with the clothes, it comes with a little uh, like pet, and it's cold and heat. Like, I don't know. It color changes. It, it color changes. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> Here's all the different ones. And like I said, this one is this one. And then we got Jolie a different one. Pamela's rolling in. Okay, listen. <laughs> so when I asked them, the girls what they w would like for Christmas, they said, we'd like a Pamela. And I was like, who is Pamela? Who's Pamela? They're like, you know Pamela. Pamela is Barbie's clone. <laughs> um, this is Pamela. 
they wanted the supermarket one and it just so happened that Ollie's had the supermarket one for $20. Why did they give her that expression? I don't know, but like, she, look looks hate <laughs> she looks like a Karen, don't she? You know how Barbie smiles? What, yeah. what is with that face? Barbie stole her limelight. That's exactly who it is. She's mad. She's big mad. She kind of looks like she's holding in a fart. <laughs> it's okay, oh. Pamela. Let it go. <laughs> That's uh, what Rena th would do. <laughs> what the little place that looks like somebody got jc a bracelet uh maker pack thing uh what is it called somebody got jc a, a thing to make bracelets with i thought she would think it was cool but i didn't know how much she would like it she has made us all friendship bracelets i have i have probably four or five six friendship bracelets she enjoys making them so much so i found one like this where it has the little letters that she can add onto the bands and I thought if she liked the beads, she would like this kind too. But I also found this one and it's more beads. And that's exactly what she needed because she started a business here in the trailer park. And there was a big whole money grabbing scheme. <laughs> I think tax evasion too. They were all fighting over money and everything. Somebody wasn't getting their percentage and they were going to leave. It was it was a whole Days of Our Lives drama fest Colton outside. Colton had the most shares in the stock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was wild that day. It was like a wild two days <laughs> over that one. Safe to say that business, it, it shut down. They had to file bankruptcy on that. <laughs> but we got this one because she uses her beads all the time. She's about to run out. But this is the kind that you can also braid too. And she doesn't know how to do that yet, but she loves learning new stuff, so I thought she'd like that. So those are her two bracelet boxes. Jolie does not like doing bracelets, so she didn't get any bracelet boxes. One thing that hasn't come yet is JC's Squishmallow, so I'll show you Jolie's Squishmallow here in a minute, and I'll show you pictures of JC's two Squishmallows that have yet to get here. So I'm leaving the together presents because they're getting a few presents together. I'm leaving those for after, after I show you guys my youngest eight-year-old by three minutes, her presents. These are Jolie's presents. Just like her sister, she's got this little LOL and I think these, no, these don't show you the ones that they got. It just has different characters all around it. Here's Jolie's first Squishmallow. It's a macaroon. She is macaroon obsessed for some reason. I don't get it, but she always talks about macaroons. I found this one on Amazon. It's little, and yellow is one of her favorite colors. Has she ever even eaten a macaroon? I don't think she's ever ate a macaroon in her <laughs> life. I don't, I don't know. I found her this little mushroom. It kind of gives me dazed and confused vibes. <laughs> I want to call them Cheech. Cheech and Chong. <laughs> like, it kind of reminds me of that. But it's this little pink mushroom. Squishmallow and it has yellow on it too, so I thought she'd like that. Here are JC's Squishmallows. She has a blue mushroom, and then she has this little Squishmallow right here. And both of those are on the way and will be here soon. It's kind of why this what I got my kids for Christmas video is a little bit late. It's because I was waiting on things to get here, and finally I had so many of you guys ask me for it. I was just like, okay, we'll show what I have and what I don't have I'll show you pictures of. JC got the bracelet making boxes and because Jolie doesn't like bracelets, bracelet making, when we went to the zoo Jolie really enjoyed seeing the red pandas so I got her a red panda necklace. She also likes wearing jewelry. She don't like making jewelry but she likes wearing it. She also has a little ornament lol ball and then like JC's gummy bear backpack she has this little sequined backpack for Anya and Elsia. She has a Barbie's accessory pack too but hers is different she has one of these cutie reveal barbie dolls too but hers is a different character so jj's is the blue panda or fox i believe and jelly's is this one jc's closet is purple and jelly's is pink but hers is the same kind it comes with a little barbie doll a place to store her clothes and her handbags. Sometimes they'll ask for the same things. They don't dress the same way. My girls are very different, but they do like the same things. And I think it's because they play with each other the most out of anybody in the world. They're always playing with each other. They like to have one of each. So if we do end up getting them the same thing, I try to, if at all possible, get the same thing, but in different colors. That way they can say, this is mine and it feels personal to them. And then if one gets broken, we know whose it is. Here comes Pamela. Uh, in her 90s bangs. She's got twins this time. She looks a little bit happier. Uh, it looks like she finally let her fart out. But I ain't gonna lie. I would have loved having this as a kid. Look at those little babies. They ain't creepy at all. Look how stinking cute. Like, sign them up for precious moments. That's crazy. They're adorable. Baby. 
Gravy and Davy, the babies. JC and Jolie had baby dolls when they were little, and we named them Davy and Gravy. They Gravy. had their own voices. Too. Gravy and Davy, and they had their own voices. For one of the bracelet kits, we got Jay. I got Jolie that red. We got Jolie. If I say I, I don't mean I. I mean we as a whole. But he is me, and I am him. So I got, he got, same thing. Ain't that Willy Wonka? <laughs> We got her the red panda necklace for one of JC's bracelet maker box things. I can't for the life of me think of what those are called. So for the other bracelet thing we got JJ, we got Jolie the slime kit because Jolie is all about the slime. I did not let slime in my house ever until we got Cammy an advent calendar that gave him slime every day. <laughs> and because I saw the joy on his face, I was like, okay, we might can do some slime. There's going to be something that goes down that's going to change my mind. I'm for certain. But for right now, we're doing slime. Now to the girls' shared presents. So their big present is shared as well as the presents leading up to their big present. Like I said, we'd like to get them one of each when we can. But some things, either it's a big present and they're both wanting it. And there's a second part to that present that they can both play with or there's several things in that present or it's just a big present that they're going to have to share in general because there can't be two in their room something like that then we'll just get one and we'll give it to them to share so this is the first one i'm showing you the back because walmart sent this to us all dinged up they did it was raining it was pouring rain and they didn't even put it in a bag or nothing the whole front is caved in but it's the rapunzel petite deluxe gift set my girls because of anya and elsia my girls are crazy about the petite dolls in the princesses so this is a whole set and it comes with like the little tower the pony the little boyfriend accessories they're getting two of these but both their names are going to be on both of them can y'all see it's like falling apart <laughs> this is the jasmine one it has aladdin genie jasmine magic carpet accessories the elephant the whole nine yards what do they call her jazzy yeah they call it jazzy i know rapunzi rapunzi is rapunzel El, uh, Elsia is Elsa. Anya is Anna. Ariella. Ariella. <laughs> or Ariella. 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 I hope so. <laughs> Belly? <laughs> Bellia. Is Bellia? it Bellia? <laughs> they have a bunch of names. If your kids don't watch Anya and Elsia, they totally should. They also have like Christian values and stuff. They pray in Jesus' name and I'm like, yes. I will watch your ads. Then they both wanted this and, like, and it was a little pricey too. So we put their names on both of that. It has two dolls in it anyway. So that works out. Look how gorgeous. It's just a little tent set and it comes with like the little tent set up. Two Barbies and like chairs. They saw this in a, I think Amazon Christmas book. We get Christmas books from Amazon, Sam's Club, Walmart. Finger Hut. <laughs> we don't touch Finger Hut with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> we get them from everywhere and the kids will sit and circle and put their name beside every present on the page. You guys have probably seen this in a video. Shane saw this at Ross while we were filming and talked me into getting this. This is why they only have two single LOLs a piece. You knew that there was going to be more. <laughs> you knew that there was going to be more. So this is the whole set and because there's so many of these and it was so expensive both their names will be on this one. They both get a baseball team each. Yeah, they There's both. A pink team and a blue team. Th that's the coolest part about it is they both get their own little baseball team. And if you look on the back back there, they get five players each and then they get one extra. So the pink team has five extra and then a little referee. And then the blue team has their blue team members and then they've got a fan. It's the Heartbreakers versus the Lucky Stars. How much was it? 52. Oh, uh, was it really 52? <laughs> that was only $52? Yeah. <gasps> we got that for $52, y'all. That was $52 at the Ross. Now, wow. I think if you had gotten that at Walmart, it probably would have been over $100. Yeah, it would have been, let's see, comparable. $68, it says, but look it up real quick. Look how much this is uh, on Walmart. So, at Walmart, it's $82. $82 and we got it for $52. That's yeah. a $30 savings. It's 53 on Amazon. 53 on Amazon. 52 on eBay. Um, it says Walmart is the highest. Wow. So Amazon and Ross, you can find those on Amazon for the same price I got them at Ross. Their big present. They have been wanting one of these for so long. Shane gave Colton his whenever he got his PS5. He gave Colton the PS4 and the girls have talked about it ever since. So they're big present is a ps4 and a separate controller because we ain't fighting over controllers over here i think it's a ps4 slim so it's gonna actually look different than colton's but we got it cheaper because it's pre-owned that's the way to go when you get stuff from gamestop because gamestop is so expensive especially for new stuff new consoles so we got the pre-owned one 
Which and GameStop's good. good about taking, when they take the old ones, they do clean them. They do go in and make sure they're wiped and, and ready to go factory reset. That way they can play two player stuff and we won't have so many, it's my turn, moments. We don't do physical games for the girls. So any game that they have on their Switch lot, on their whatever, is on the actual game console so that we're not shoving games in and messing up cartridges cds and blu-rays cds and blu-rays whatever <laughs> none of that so they're actually going to get that but with a couple of games on it probably two games on it to start out with and probably multiplayer games at that multiplayer games at that so no Fortnite yet or anything like that because that would be a whole ordeal so like colton with the games on his oculus they'll have games on their ps4 and last but not least my puppies banks has this little stocking this little green stock and it has a little T Rex. He's like his little arms. T Rex. Yeah. He's got little T Rex arms. We always tell him that. So it has the little T Rex. It has a little rope toy. I didn't get them any with rawhide because my dogs aren't allowed to have rawhide. So they have like little squeaker toys, tennis balls, little chewy ball with a little squeaker in it. I'm surprised they're not hearing it right now. Basically every big thing in this has a squeaky in it and they will destroy the squeaker in 2.5 seconds. I found him this little Christmas tree. It has a squeaker in it too. They're I got the door. Huh? They're at the door. Are they? It has like this little rope thing on the bottom. He will love that. And I got this for $3.99 at Ross. Ross is the best place to get dog toys. Ross and TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx is pretty cool too. Tater has a little pink one and it's got a piglet in it because she's a piglet. It also has the robe. It has everything that Binks has in it. Um, except for it's pink and it has the pig. She's going to destroy this stuff in 2.5 seconds. I got her an abominable snowman squeaker. But she's abominable. <laughs> I thought she would like that. I got this for three ninety nine at Ross. I got their stockings at Walmart. And then I found this one that they can share for $6 at TJ Maxx. It's just a little, cute little squeaky gingerbread man. They hear it right now. I hear them. Just little squeaky gingerbread man. I thought they would really like those. I'm hoping Tater don't swallow them. <laughs> She's going to have to be supervised. That is it. I've already given Shane his presents. Y'all might have saw some Nike, what's it called? Jordans? Jordans. Nike Jordans in the last video. Those were Shane's Christmas presents. I just found a dryer sheet in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> and then Shane got me a Kali lip kit, which you also seen in the last video. It was just on me. <laughs> Shane and I, any other Christmas, have never ever gotten each other anything. We focused on the kids. Just so that they would have a really good Christmas. I want... Christmas to be a big deal for them. It can't be any bigger, like I said, than their salvation. That's the greatest gift of all. Jesus is the reason for the season. He is the best gift on the planet. No amount of any materialistic things could ever outdo what he did for us on the cross, and they know that. But aside from that, I like to, I, I don't personally, my own personal conviction, I don't have a problem with giving my children gifts for Christmas. Your conviction may be a lot different, and I respect that, I, and I admire that to an extent. Um, it's, you know, a bunch of people don't put up trees. There's a lot of controversy about trees. Whatever you feel in your spirit you need to do, I would never tell you to go against that. I would never tell you not to do that, because you could very well be right, and I could very well be wrong, but I feel my conviction that it's okay to do the things that we have done for our kids this Christmas. What was I saying? We've never really focused on each other for this Chris for Christmas. This is our first Christmas we've ever done that. So it's been kind of fun searching for things that I think that he would like. It's displayed on my desk properly right now, though. He got moved. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope y'all have... <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have a blessed morning, even not whatever it is, wherever you're at. Those are your shoes. No! <laughs> High alert! See, I trained them well. High alert! <laughs> you guys have a blessed morning, even not whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. I'll see y'all later. He really does. Like, he loves you so much more. I'll see y'all later.